When's the right time to take step three or part three? If you're a U.S. graduate, you can't take it till you've already got a year's worth of training. In some states, two years' worth of training. If you're an international graduate, you could take it before residency starts. So from one point of view, the answer to both of these groups is the same, as soon as possible, before you forget things. One of the biggest misconceptions about step three of USMLE is the idea that says, if I get a couple of years of residency in, I'll know more because I'll have seen more. And there is a modest correlate of that in certain of the general specialties like family practice or internal medicine or med peds. We see a broad range of things. But if you look at things like radiology or anesthesia or pathology, or ophthalmology, or if you look at these narrower areas, it's totally not true. You should take that test and get it out of the way as soon as possible. The preparation for this can be our books on Step 3 USMLA and where you combine it also with the CCS books that give you the cases you're most likely to see. But the bottom line about when to take this is get it over with so you can be free. You're not going to stop worrying, but at least we can help you worry about bigger and better things than step three.